Tonight, more debate, more discussion about the Jags' proposed stadium deal. Specifically, $150 million in city money that's part of a community benefits agreement that will be matched by the Jags. The majority of neighbors are in favor of the agreement, but some on city council, well, they have concerns about it. Our Andrew Badillo is on your side tonight. He's joining us live outside City Hall. And Andrew, some changes to the CBA were proposed at tonight's meeting. What more can you tell us about? Yeah, Anthony Heather, uh, City Council Vice President Randy White says he plans to file legislation and amendment on Thursday that would break up the CBA. Essentially, $94 million of that community benefits agreement that the city is paying for will be taken out of that CBA and that money and White said that that money could cause conflicts of interest for some council members in their final vote. Now, that money that he is referring to would go towards workforce housing, homelessness initiatives, as well as development on Jacksonville's east side. And that east side community came out in full force tonight for voicing their support for the CBA in its entirety. In every corner of council chambers, sat an orange shirt. All of us in our orange, we came to represent. Neighbors from Jacksonville's east side. We've never had an upgrade in 60 years. We need to help. Included in the proposed community benefits agreement are millions of city dollars towards the east side. Money that could be carved out over concerns about potential conflicts of interest for council members that council president Ron Salem says could keep them from voting on the proposal. It involves their jobs and who they work for, and uh, I, I'd rather not go into individual conflicts. Council Vice President Randy White will introduce an amendment Thursday. Of the $150 million in city money, $56 million to finish downtown parks would remain, but $94 million for workforce housing, homelessness initiatives, including money for the east side, would be cut out of the final stadium vote next Tuesday and discussed in a separate bill raising questions in the sea of orange. We want to kind of understand that. Some transparency and a fair allocation of the funding. Funding Darion Roberts says is long overdue. He says he teaches kids on the east side life skills through fishing and says more opportunities need to be afforded. We need a little more guidance. We need a lot more guidance, you know, and uh, we need a lot more guidance. Now, it is important to note that White and the mayor's office did work uh, together on creating this amendment, so it does have the mayor's full support. Now, on Thursday, this amendment will be introduced and voted on. If it is approved, it will go up for a final vote as part of the full stadium deal vote next Tuesday. Reporting live outside City Hall, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.